Hi and welcome along. I'm Matt Jones from Bedford Valentine Detailing.com and this is more of a video of how to. As much as how to, it's also a job with which I got great results from. Now there'll be bits of this video which will tell you how that I did it. It might not be the very best way to get results. It might be better ways that I haven't discovered, but this is certainly the best way that I can use to combat the issues which I had. In fact, this job turned from one job into something which I wasn't expecting because I was hired out on this job to do uh, something which I'm not used to doing, usually on modern top-end vehicles. Well, this was an older vehicle, it was an old Fiesta which someone had inherited and a family member um, smoked in the vehicle and they wanted to get rid of the smell of smoke. So to combat this I was going to carry out several um, techniques um, and machines to help try and get rid of the smell of smoke in there. But on getting to the vehicle it became very apparent that um, there were other issues with the car as well. They weren't known um, but it was something which I could do whilst I was there. It was a Saturday job, so I had a little bit of time on my hands. So I made good with the amount of time that I had. So it might be controversial for some people. Some people charge the jobs by exactly which parts of the jobs they do, to which they bolt on. Personally, I don't operate like that. That's, that's my choice. I just feel it in a way that if you're going to be a job and allocate a certain period of time, if you over deliver or you carry out more parts of the job which um, are required or requested and you charge the same money all it's going to do is give your customers very happy so it might not be the way that everyone runs their business but certainly the way that I found works for me and always gains me more work in the long run great recommendations great reviews more work so that's how I operate so the car itself it was a, an old Fiesta, low mileage, not heavily smoked in, but the issue which I did get, which I wasn't expecting and nor the customer, is it had mould in it. Now the reason why cars get mould in, there's usually a source to it. Nine and a half times out of ten, there's a source of some sort. Now that can be anything from a water leak, it can be a spillage inside the car, it can be bacteria pulled in from clothing, left on the seats. But normally what you find is, is that the actual bacteria or the mould starts growing in the damp conditions. So if you get a period of time where the temperature goes very cold and the car isn't used and there's no circulation within the vehicle and there's damp conditions, that gives perfect conditions for spawns to grow in the area that is this, uh, where there is actually bacteria. So we've got to try and kill that bacteria. So the chemicals are used were Malcos, Malcos interior cleaning, which I like because it's also a fragrance as well. So I was using that to combat the smell of, of smoke inside the vehicle, and um, which was done on all surfaces. So all the carpeted areas, the door cards, head lining, anywhere that's a fabric and at the same time I was steam cleaning to kill, kill those spores. That was going to combat both. So in fact, effectively actually it was killing um, two birds with one stone. And whilst I was doing that I was either running a heater through it or I had the engine running with the heater on hot to dry the uh, um, the fabric out because what once I finished doing all the cleaning, getting the dirt off it and killing all the mould, I put an ozone machine in. Now you need all the fabric to be dry to put an ozone machine and generally if you're using a fragrance or a sort it needs to be dry because the worst thing you need to do, especially in cold conditions, is to wet back a car, clean it all up and leave the car damp because all you're going to do effectively is create more conditions to get the vehicle growing more mould inside and stinking the whole thing out. So I'm not I'm a keen fan of wet vacuuming unless we're in summertime where the conditions are warm and the vehicle has a decent period of time to dry out, which usually can take you know an hour or two sometimes, maximum when it's, when it's nice and warm and sunny. So those are the, the uh, practices and the products which I used. In fact, the last product I used was uh, Malco's Extracts Fogger, which is 
really strong fogger, which was the fragrance thing. So the idea was that you killed all the bacteria, you've killed the smoking, and just put a nice smell inside the car so it all smells nice and fresh. And if there is any lingering smells of smoke inside there, then that should get rid of it. People might say masks, but I've used this uh, Malco fogger before, and the car still smells of the fogger a year onwards. And that was a car that wasn't heavily smoked in, but as many clients probably tell you, if they're non-smokers, then a non-smoker can smell a car that's been smoked in quite easily. Um, and it's something which is, uh, it, it can be annoying to them. Um, so that's what I use for the final stage. The customer also asked, which was going to slight extremes further than um, over delivering from the service that I was asked to do, was to actually clean the car with a scouring pad of sorts. So I think there must have been some kind of bird lime on there or something, or some marks they couldn't get off, and, and <laughs> the weapon of choice was chosen. I think it was a scouring pad, so so it was quite heavily marked. So the, the idea was, was to just to make this better. It's an old vehicle, it's not a showroom car. There wasn't a fortune been spent on the car, so the budget was set at a reasonable level at £150. So that's the time scale I had to, to I put four hours, four to five hours on this vehicle, and I had time left over. So, on the basis that I know how to get a vehicle um, polished up fairly quickly, and the ability to do so, I just thought, well, okay. I'll do localised sanding. So I sanded the, the uh, areas uh, on the roof um, and then went o over the whole vehicle with uh, a DA with 3000 Trizac on, which uh, it wasn't a completely uniform sand down, but the paintwork was so dull, it was going to be the quickest way. So I sanded it all down, polished it all up, um, and effectively I just went over the car quickly with the DA and a single stage. Uh, cutting and finishing product which um, gave the desired effect which uh, I, I was looking for so over delivered for sure but the customer was very happy and I still finished the job in the time scale which was allocated to the job so in essence everyone's happy so I'll list all the items to use and the products which went on to the, the vehicle too and um, you know hopefully you can combat and, and solve a problem and have the issues not come back with mould and uh, have another service which you can put in and have confidence in the fact that the job's done and you won't get any comebacks from it. So I'm Matt Jones from Bedford and Babbitt and Detailing.com. If you like videos like this or anything on detailing really then uh, do click the bell button and subscribe to the uh, to the channel and you will see more of this if you're on YouTube and uh, if you're looking for services then go to bedfordvalentinindetailing.com and you will find a service for whatever you need which could be cars, van, boats, glider trailers, motorhomes, pretty much anything that moves can look after you. So thanks for watching and I hope to